What is up guys, Tom here and welcome to episode 8 of my Road to Maxed Out Weapons series on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Today's episode we're going to be doing the Draken. Now coming into this, well I'm about to recall the gameplay, I'm like, well, great. This is a semi-automatic sniper rifle. I'm probably not going to be able to get any good gameplay with it. And if I do, and use it well, I'm probably going to get targeted, because it's one of the guns that's like criticised the most, because it's just uh, caught with like a stupid weapon. It can be overpowered. It can be used in like stupid ways to do kind of stupid kind of things. But none of those happened. I actually got decent gameplay, and it used it too badly. And I didn't target it. It didn't get targeted, which is obviously all good. Um, so, as you can see here, we are on... Infection playing safeguard using the Dracon with a recon. Uh, and we kind of, I was trying, I was actually playing quite aggressively and it seemed to be working. I wasn't actually doing too badly, I was just kind of using it as how I was kind of used the Shiva. I was just kind of using it in that way, although obviously you can't, it's not as maneuverable, you can't move as quickly um, as you can with the Shiva. But I was just trying to be aggressive with it and it wasn't actually working too badly. Um, as you can see, he's trying to get the line of sight across, but I'm unable to pick up any kills. I'm using this pretty cool camo on it. I have no idea what this camo is actually called. Um, but it's similar to, like, the Intiga... I always get this camo name wrong, like Intiga or something. Or the Royal Camo. It's like that. Um, it's like goldy green and red, so I thought it was a pretty nice camo, so I may as well um, use it. Uh, so overall, the, the Dracon isn't actually that uh, bad. Uh, you can use it very aggressively, which is what I did, and it seemed to work uh, not too badly. As you can see, I'm able to pick up a kill of it. The reload time is pretty quick. It's not too bad. You can, it's just sort of the same. Feels like the same kind of time as a assault rifle, especially if you have the RK5. As you can see here, you can just pull it out uh, just in case you're in a bad situation, because obviously it's a sniper. So you can't like hit fire because obviously that's like no scoping and it's very very um, well it's kind of you don't know where it's gonna hit it's a bit random um, so it's kind of hard to hit fire but apart from that it's actually not too bad of a weapon you see level it up to level three now as I trigger that guy's rejack re re but um, I'm still able to get him the second time. Um, So as you see, he's trying to um, take over this middle spot, but somebody with a real sniper, not to say a real sniper, this isn't really a proper sniper, uh, gets me, but I'm able to get right back out and uh, get them instead. Uh, as I'm coming down the side here, trying to like escort the robot in some way. So here, I'm able to outgun that guy who obviously had some sort of SMG, and that guy as well, using it, like I said, like the Shiva, pulling out the RK5 and getting a third kill. But unfortunately, I'm taken down by the war machine, I'm pretty sure that was. Um, again, just trying to get in, because this is kind of the end of the safeguard game, uh, where you are um, kind of trying to um, just get the robot in. You're really spawn trapping the enemy team, and there's nothing they can do about it. Um, so that's the kind of phase we're in now. Another kill, a one shot kill, because obviously the Dracon is a two shot kill. If you get headshot, his neck or head is a one-shot kill. Uh, they pick up a, an assist and a few kills, but uh, unfortunately, I am taken out there, um, and we do lose the game. But that doesn't really matter um, too much. Uh, so that's all okay. It doesn't matter at all. Uh, so on to the second game here, which is again Safeguard on the map Hunted. Now Safeguard, if you're an attacking team, is a perfect uh, game mode for this uh, gun. Because you literally like, get up onto the top if you're attacking on the right side. And you can literally just spray down onto the, kind of like the platform where the base is. And you can just get pick up quite a few kills if you're not noticed. Um... Especially you can see now, I'm now running it with suppressor because I've got a high enough level to do that. Um, which means that um, 
I it makes me a lot easier to get up into that position and just spray. It's obviously because you spam it so much, your red dot appears like 20 times on the mini map. Um, so it kind of is obvious where you are. But uh, with the suppressor, it obviously don't show up uh, at all. Once we get another one shot kill. See, this is the kind of position that I mean. Uh, just coming down here, so that guy's trying, I think, I think he's trying to knife me. Uh, this area here, so now I can literally just look down onto this platform and just spray. Uh, unfortunately, I do miss quite a lot of the shots, but I still get that knife guy again for the second time while I'm concussed. But I'm able to get another look down, but I'm unfortunately, I can't pick up another kill. I'm taken down by a SVG, I think it was, or a Locust, something like that. Um, well, I did find this game, it was like some guy was like picking up my gun. Like, I was looking at it, I swear, like, he'd look for my body and pick it up, and I have no idea what he was doing. I actually looked, because I heard, like, the Dracon suppress kind of noise. Uh, and I looked, and it's the same gun, the same camo and everything, and every time I saw this guy, he was using my gun. And I was like, I have no idea. And he must have been, like, just running and picking it up over and over and over again. Because when I looked, he had, like, quite a lot of death as well, so... Every time I saw him, he seemed to be using it, and that's just really weird as I'm taken out again while I'm trying to flank around by the Locusts. So again, this is towards the end of the safeguard game, just trying to, like, spawn trap the enemy team again, just trying to push that robot in the base, bring out the RK5, we only get an assist. Just trying to kind of flank around, this probably isn't the best route for me to take with the Dracon, as we pick up an assist. Uh, but luckily our teammate takes that guy out for us, but unfortunately kills, and we're not able to stay alive. Like I got the SBG, who are kind of in the spot that I want to be in, kind of spraying down onto that um, platform. I think the um, Dracon is probably definitely used best with the ELO site, um, because you can literally just, ELO and stock, you can literally just use it as a, um, basically like the Shiva, because I'm pretty sure that the Dracon has a higher higher damage and higher fire rate than the Shiva. It's just worse at like moving. So it's pretty much a Shiva if you have those the good attachments on. But better than a Shiva almost. It might actually be a gun that I use uh, when I get it. Um, sort of a higher level. Which won't actually be too bad. Let's see trying to get maybe a few shots through the door. I do get hit marked through the door, but I am taken out by the guy kind of sitting on that kind of, like, uh, hut kind of area. Trying to look down long lines of sight. Uh, trying to use it a bit more as a sniper, I suppose, not going too far in. I do see a guy taken out uh, with a sniper, but I am taken out too by the same guy. In this point in the kind of game, it's just like back and forth, back and forth. Because uh, obviously there's so many people there, like there's no way you're gonna survive, especially using the gun that I was using. It doesn't really help you. As you can see, there's only a couple seconds left, so the game ends and we lose the round. But here we go onto the final tip, onto um, breach. As you can see here, just trying to hit fire, trying to no scope, and no shots hit. Um, obviously, this time we're using the Varex because I thought the Varex could zoom in and out, so it might help me. Um, and it seemed to, it wasn't actually too bad. As you see, I, I did use the Varix in the last episode, but on the BRM, um, and not on this gun. I was trying to look up, try and take that guy out, but I'm uh, taken out by somebody else before I have the opportunity. Um, this is Breach and Domination in Ground War, obviously. The, all these clips are from Ground War, which makes it like ten times more chaotic. So just trying to look down onto their kind of onto their onto the sea flag. We see a guy in the back there. We're able to take him out. Easy peasy. Get into this kind of uh, I call it like the offline kind of room. Obviously, that's the big uh, like banners that say offline. As that guy completely just doesn't notice. As we get one shot on him, but he still he doesn't kind of make any reaction at all. As so you try and come around the back here. Um, but it looks like a teammate's come out and we have switched the spawns. So we're now kind of trying to head back um, into mid map. Uh, going up to this kind of point to try and look over, see if there's anybody on the other side of the map. Uh, but it seems to be one of our teammates. So you just drop down into the centre. 
Try to see if Zane's coming through that doorway. There's people jumping over. We miss all the shots. Apparently, the RK5 from inside. Um, still don't get anyone. Look at the doorway. We're able to pick up one kill there. Then a second, as we look round. We're able to get full streaks there. Um, UAV, ca care pack, and counter UAV. Purely just running those streaks because. Um, but I just like running care pack because sometimes I know I'll die like one off a wraith or something like that, one off a talon. And I stand a chance of getting such a low, like, it's not really a very high kill streak. And you can get like a wraith or something, so I just like like um, using it. I think it's very effective. And I'm pretty sure I get a talon um, in this care pack, so you're going to see me use that for a bit. Uh, oh, no, sorry. I don't use a talon. I use, I get a hardened uh, sentry. I it was wrong there. See, hardened sentry is quite, like, it's not that high of a kill streak, but it's higher than that sort of thing. Uh, unless I get HGXD, the UAV is useful and all that. I just, I just think care pack is a good streak uh, for me, to, for me personally, um, to use. Uh, but I don't place it down in this clip. Um, so anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the episode here. Um, I know the image did fail on the last episode. There's something wrong with the BRM or something like that. It just didn't want to put the image on the end of the video. Hopefully this one works. If it doesn't, you'll probably just be lucky at my name. Um, but anyway, guys, if it does work, as you can see on screen now, the Dracon, it, the Dra I keep saying the Dracon, that's very, like, sort of American. The Draken um, is now level 7, I think. Um, so it's now sort of halfway to um, max, uh, like, to prestige one. Uh, so we're going to be finishing that off in the next episode. Uh, so anyway, guys, I've been Tom, and I'll see you all later.